Hey, what's up everybody? In this video tutorial, we're gonna be taking a look at how to create the M&M, just a regular M&M. Uh, so, take a look at an M&M. It's an oblate spheroid, all right? It's gonna be kind of interesting to create. It's gonna go along the same lines as our Whopper candy, but our profile is gonna change just a little bit. And uh, we're gonna construct this just as a, <clears throat> just as a solid model, just a one piece solid model. But in reality, we could actually create this as two parts. One could be the candy shell on the outside, the second part could be the chocolate inside. That would be like a second part. But we're just going to go ahead and create this as a solid model. So let's go ahead and get started with this. So in on shape, we're going to come up, pick on create, pick on a document. And we're going to go ahead and give this the name of M. Oh, geez. M and M candy. There we go. All right. So once this loads up, we're going to come out and begin our sketch. So. Pick a plane does not matter. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick on the front plane and now I'm going to orbit this over, look at it with our view cube. <clears throat> and now we're going to be coming out and creating an ellipse. So you're gonna find ellipse buried under the same panel that circle is at. So I'm gonna come and find ellipse. I'm gonna start this from my center point. I'm going to go up, okay, like so. And by picking on it once to accept it and then coming over here, I'm going to go ahead and pick on that to accept that. So now it's asking me for my X value in my case. So I measured this up with my dial calipers that was showing up as like 0.533. I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter on that. And then this one here uh, for this value, I was measuring a distance of like 0.271 with my dial calipers. Okay, so that's going to go in, all right, just like so. All right, and actually, you know what? I'm gonna change this around. I wanna send this to my 0.533 and then I'm gonna get this over to my point two, seven, one. There, I'm much happier with that. Okay, so once we have this done, now we're going to be using the same sort of revolve uh, feature that we used with the Whopper candy. All right, <clears throat> and I said with revolve, we need an axis and we need a profile. So in this case, we're going to be using half the profile that we're currently seeing, and now we have to draw our axis. So using line command, I'm going to start here at the top of my ellipse, and I'm going to draw a line down to the bottom of our ellipse. Okay, so once that is done, now I can use trim. So using trim, I can come in here and pick the left-hand side of the profile. It's going to remove it. Now I can green check this. And now I'm gonna put this into an isometric view where I can see it. So just like last time with Whopper, we can now come up here to Revolve. I'm gonna be picking the inside of my profile. And now the uh, red box is saying, you know, select your Revolve axis. Now we can pick on that vertical line that we've just created. And now we can go ahead and green check it. All right, and there you go. You have yourself a regular M&M. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off some work planes here. Okay, and now let's go ahead and add some color to it. <clears throat> so, of course, we're going to make this the green M&M. You know, let's find a good color of green here. I think that one's going to work pretty well. All right, let's go ahead and green check that. Okay, now we can hit the bubbles to get rid of the appearance panel. <clears throat> and there you go. Okay, so that is an oblate spheroid. All right, and that's the same exact solid model that we would find. Okay, with an M&M. So there you go. That's how you create an M&M using Onshape. 